Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to use the GPS module Skytrack 634. This is the Skytrack 634 GPS module mounted on a breakout board. This breakout board has got a regulated 5 volt regulator, so the GPS uh, module is supplied with only 5 volts. To interface this module with PC, we need an USB to UART board. This is the USB to UART board made by NSK Electronics. This is a very reliable board compared to any other ones available in the market. This uses one uh, CP2102 Silicon Labs IC. Connect the USB cable to USB to UART board. The other end of the board should be connected to the GPS module breakout board using a RS232 cable. This is the RS232 straight cable. Connect this cable to the GPS module and you have to provide a 12 volt DC adapter to the GPS breakout board. This is the 12 volt adapter I am supplying to breakout board. Now the setup is ready for testing. This uh, Skytrack GPS module has got a patch on top POT ceramic antenna and no separate antenna is required for this. This is the POT patch on top ceramic pan antenna and it gets a fix within seconds in outdoor and even in indoor it gets a fix within 5 minutes. When it gets a fix this LED will blink, start blinking and when there is, when there is no fix this LED will be stable. Generally in indoor Generally, if this GPS module is indoor, it will take uh, at least 5 to 10 minutes for uh, to get a fix. If you take this module outdoors, it will get a fix immediately. This module has got both TTL level as well as RS232 level signal interface. It has got total 6 wires. Out of uh, the 6 wires, 2 are for power supply. That is, uh, this red one is for uh, VCC up to 5 volt supply you can give and the black wire is for uh, ground the third wire is uh, serial data in that we are not going to use in this uh, demo we are going to use the fourth wire which is the serial data out the serial data out wire of GPS is, is used in this demo The other two wires are TTL related wires. This uh, Skytrack 634 module supports NMEA0183 protocol. The GPS sentences you get from this module are defined by the protocol NMEA0183. Open up the device manager and scroll down to ports. Under that you can see the USB UART board is allotted COM6. You note down the port number. You have to feed it to the terminal software. Close the device manager. Fire up the terminal software cool term. Under options, you enter the port number that is a COM6 as seen in the device manager. Baud rate should be 9600, data bits 8, parity none and stop bits 1. Click on OK. and then click connect as soon as you click connect you can see the NMEA sentences flowing out of the GPS module uh, this RMC message has got all the information the time, data, position, course, speed latitude, longitude everything is defined in this uh, RMC sentence let us, uh, let us take a close look at this uh, RMC sentence GP is the prefix for GPS and it is followed by RMC. Th this is the recommended minimum sentence and has got all the information that is required. Each data is separated by a comma. The first data is the current time that is given in uh, GMT. It is not your local time. It is GMT. Here it is uh, 05 hours, 40 minutes 
and then 0 0.6 seconds and milliseconds is also there and the next one is A that is the status code if uh, if it is A means active and the GPS has got a fix and if it is V means it is void and GPS has got has uh, not got a fix and the next one is the latitude this latitude is 10 degrees and then the decimal minutes and north and the next one is the longitude and the next data is uh, in our case it is 0 0 actually it is a speed ground speed as we are indoor it is given 0 0 and the next one is the tracking angle and the next data is uh, date of fix it is date month and year and next two datas are empty and the final data is the checksum using the cool term terminal software we can see only the NMEA messages if you want to see the messages as a plot then use Trimble Studio Google for Trimble Studio click on Trimble Studio download you will be taken up to the Trimble support web page click on Trimble GPS Studio application it is a very small software but an excellent software for uh, ma GPS mapping it is only 1.4 MB file just click on save file to download go to the download page and then click on Trimble Studio to open up Trimble this is the Trimble Studio under port settings enter the COM port 6 that you saw under the device manager and also border it should be 9600 click on OK now you can see the latitude, longitude, time and other data filled up inside the box automatically by the uh, Trimble Studio if you click on view raw data under monitor you can see the NMEA sentences flowing out of the GPS module you can click on pause to have a close look on that uh, NMEA sentences you can see GPRMC sentence has got all the information you want that is the latitude, longitude, dat, time etc these uh, separate data latitude, longitude, date time and other datas are automatically printed under separate boxes by the GPS software you can see the latitude the data is automatically inside the latitude box also the longitude the date and time you can see the view sky plot by clicking the under monitor also click on view position map now you can see the map loading your GPS position is uh, plotted as a map you can see the red dot that is the position that is your GPS position and you can click on satellite or terrain view to get those views now I am going to take the GPS for a ride this is the setup I am going to carry inside my car the laptop, the GPS setup, breakout board this uh, I am I'm going to use a 9 volt battery as a power supply for the GPS module this is the actual setup
and I am using a Reliance data card for internet connectivity to my laptop. Now let us start. While the car is moving, the Trimble Studio records the movement of the car with the red rod showing the track. You can see the movement of the car tracked by the red dot. If you click on raw data, you can see all the NMEA sentences flowing out of the GPS module. According to this NMEA sentences, the map is plotted. You can see the NMEA sentences flying out of the GPS module and accordingly the map is plotted. You can see the movement of the car as seen by the red dot moving. This is the terrain view. You can see as the car moves on, you can see all the places printed. And this is the satellite view. Thank you for watching.